But at breaking news, the president is tweeting tonight just moments ago saying another fake story on NBC News that I offered pardons to Homeland Security personnel in case they broke the law regarding illegal immigration and sanctuary cities. Of course, this is not true. Mainstream media is corrupt and getting worse, if that is possible, every day. Got some more tweets coming up, too. He's been busy tonight. In the meantime, here's Russell. He was going to give them more of what they want. But somehow it's turned into dirty tricksterism. Somehow it's turned into targeting Trump's political foes. I hope they haven't given up on this idea. I hope at some point they revive it and do it under the premise that the sanctuary city people call these people gifts of love and they shelter them already and they advocate for more of them. So why not? Isn't this a great way? They've already destroyed those towns anyway, as far as we're concerned. So what's a little more destruction? All right, Rush Limbaugh praising what he calls a perfectly Trumpian idea. The plan to transport illegal immigrants to sanctuary cities. And President Trump says he is still strongly considering it. Time now for tonight's power panel, Catalina Mag founder, Kathy Aru, Fox News contributor, Leslie Marshall, and from the Republican National Lawyers Association, Harmeet Dillon. Great to have you guys with us tonight. Thanks, Shannon. Good to be here. Thank you. Okay, so this is how it's playing out a little bit today. You guys, a couple of you probably know David Bull. He tweets this, sanctuary city mayors, we want our cities to be havens for the undocumented. Even if you have criminal records, we'll protect you. Trump, we're sending captured migrants directly to sanctuary cities. Mayors, no way. This is outrageous and racist. We won't take them. Leslie? That's actually not what all the mayors said. Some said we welcome them with open arms. Uh, first of all, this is, as Rush said, uh, very Trumpian uh, because it's not presidential and it may not even be legal. Uh, not just using people as political pawns, but the president of the United States, regardless of the personal feelings toward a can another politician like Nancy Pelosi in the Bay Area, for example, or anyone, when they claim and they tout verbally and tweeting every day practically that these people are dangerous these men women and children are dangerous and to actually say we're going to put dangerous individuals and and, and into neighborhoods throughout the united states in a state that already has the majority in this country of undocumented workers as it is uh th that is not only irresponsible uh that is really like I said, not presidential, and this is beyond the authority of the president, in my opinion. And like I said, I don't think it's legal. ICE doesn't have the funding. We don't have the people. We don't have the money. This is fundamentally not possible, and this is not what the president of the United States should do if he, in fact, feels that these people are truly dangerous. He's supposed to be looking out for the safety of all Americans, including those in sanctuary cities. Okay, so Harvey, can you argue both sides of it then, that these people are welcome in our societies and we feel good about them and we aren't worried? about them, um, but they are dangerous, or at least the president is representing that some of them, some fraction of them are. Well, I'm totally confused, uh, Shannon. I just heard uh, Leslie say these people are super dangerous. We shouldn't put them in our cities. But I'm sure on other nights she tells uh, our, your viewers that they're great and we need more of them. And that's exactly what Nancy Pelosi has been saying for years. So, you know, I have a little secret for you, uh, for, Shan for you, Shannon. Uh, liberals can be hypocrites. And that's exactly what's happening here today. Now, I don't see the problem here at all. I don't understand why these liberals are freaking out. Because, first of all, I live in San Francisco. It's an amazing city. It's a lovely city. And I stay here despite all the drama and all the poo on the streets and everything. It's still beautiful. Illegal aliens love this city. In fact, we have a lot of them living here in the city right now. And Nancy Pelosi and her colleagues love having them here. So it seems like a win-win all around. So the drama, I think, is because Nancy Pelosi realizes that if we had a critical mass of them here in her backyard in Pacific Heights in her multi-million dollar mansions were suddenly thronged with illegal aliens in the streets, maybe her Democratic voters might not like this policy so much after all. But guess what, Nancy Pelosi? Other districts around the country have to deal with this every day. Districts in Texas, districts of the border in California. And why shouldn't, if we love them so much, every county in California be filled with illegal aliens. Well, Kathy, and to that point, I'll give you a chance to respond to another uh, uh, tweet from the president tonight. He says this, if the radical left Democrats all of a sudden don't want the illegal migrants in their sanctuary cities, in parentheses, no more open arms, why should others be expected to take them into their communities, go home and come into our country legally and through a system of merit? Kathy. 
Um, many have come to this country, though, legally. We don't have any visas that are extended for uh, workers that go come here for three months and then um, can be extended. So actually, they, many arrive legally, and once they're here, the visas run out, and there's no way to renew mm -hmm. those visas. So we have about 11 million undocumented people in this country who want to be legal and cannot. And, and, and cannot. These people want. They're paying taxes um, every single day, everywhere they go. The gas, numbers? Uh, what about the record numbers? Wait about the what about the record numbers of people that we have right now? I mean, it's like the highest in 10 years. They're taking in 100,000 people illegally at the border uh, each month, Kathy. I mean, that's not with visas. And we know that's the visa it's, overstays are the main problem, not, too. Well, the peak was actually 2007. Um, it's actually lower than it ever has, well, it has been in years. So we're not actually having any kind of national crisis or national okay, emergency. But, but just, just so to be factual no need here. for this kind of segregation. Just, just to be yeah. factual here, we have had higher numbers come to the yeah. border, but now what we're finding out is that the, the types of people we have showing up, which are family units or unaccompanied minors, they're staying in the U.S. apparently in greater numbers because they're much tougher to deport. Once they get here, they have to be detained and handled separately, and there are time limits on that. So, uh, you know, Harmeet, we know that a lot of people end up being released into the U.S. because our facilities simply aren't designed to handle this many well, people. Well, exactly so. But and not only that, but there is a 20, there's a 20, there's a, there's a 20 day limit to how long you can keep families in custody and how long you can contain these people. And on a prior segment on your show, the United States attorney in Texas uh, told us that only 13 percent of these asylum applicants actually end up getting asylum granted. And look, I'm an immigrant and I've also helped people get asylum in this country. So I actually know what the law is. And what we have here is a complete joke and a travesty. And so Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, put your money where your mouth is. If you want more of this, then have them in your districts and let's see what the fallout is, if any, and uh, then go from there. And Leslie, to, to that point by Harmeet, I mean, are you worried that people who genuinely need to seek asylum here are somehow gonna get lost in the shuffle because there are those who do come here and abuse the system? Absolutely. And that's been a problem, not just during this administration. And we've seen record numbers dropping of people coming to the border. But it is correct that there are more people now coming to the border. And 36,000 approximately, over a third of the people at the border, are family units, to your point, Shannon. And by the way, I want to clear up, I was not being hypocritical. I was stating what the president said. That was not what I said. I did not say these people were dangerous. The president says that each and every day. I just want to be clear and factual on that. Getting to what the crisis is about, it's about legislation that I believe Democrats and Republicans mm -hmm. can come together and agree on. And Democrats and Republicans can certainly agree on the fact that our asylum laws mm -hmm. need to change, need to yeah. be rewritten. It's not working. Shannon, you've talked about uh, before, uh, very rightly so, about the backlog and the courts. Mm -hmm. It takes years to get through the court system. And, and one of the things that we have to do is put more money there, and we also have to have legislation that could have yeah. bipartisan support, just a piece we'll, of this comprehensive immigration problem. We'll see if the fortitude is there across both sides of the aisle to get it done. In the meantime, Kathy, Leslie, and Harmeet, thank you for coming to discuss. Good Thanks, to see you Shannon. all. Thank, thank you. you. All right, a leftist wants waiters 